When I visit Paris, my main form of transportation within the city is by local buses. Back in 2014, when I first visited Paris for a month, I rode the buses everywhere. I purchased a guidebook and used the bus routes as guidance to get around. And of course, I made many errors and learned from my mistakes. But since I was not under the pressure of time, and I also had a monthly unlimited pass, so I often would change my plan midway or hop off when I see an area that looked interesting. I treated many of these bus rides as city tours. Now there are many apps that can give you directions and bus routes, which I will mention later. But I still find my handy guide to be a valuable travel source. One thing I did notice, I didn't see many travelers or tourists on local buses, maybe because the bus routes can be a bit complicated to understand. And some buses run less frequently than the metro. Also, buses do get stuck in traffic jams and are often delayed. But I find that I get to see so much more of the city being above ground, so I continue to favor taking the bus. I make this video to share some of what I know about taking the bus in Paris and my bus experience. It's not meant to be a tutorial, but it might encourage some travelers to Paris to try using the bus. I will share how to get the tickets, how to read the stops along a bus route, provide some general information on bus etiquette, and some tips not in any travel guides. The information I share are not all inclusive, but maybe enough to get you to give buses a try. Paris is a very walkable city, but sometimes when you can't walk another step and you are so tired, it's a great relief to hop on the bus and let the bus driver do the work. When you get to where you are staying in Paris, find out the nearest bus stop and get the number of the bus. Look up where the bus run. For example, I usually stay in areas that is serviced by bus number 96. For your first bus ride, maybe just get on and try it out. Don't ride the bus if you are under any time pressure, like having to catch a movie or event, or have to meet friends for dinner. Always give yourself plenty of time. That's the same even for the metro. Bus stops come in various styles. Some are actually covered and have a bench. Time schedules are clearly posted, like when the next bus will be arriving. Some are simple posts with a stationary sign showing the buses and their schedules. But these may not reflect traffic conditions and are not updated to current runtime. I buy my tickets at metro stations. There are service booths within the metro stations that can assist you with any of your transportation questions. Buy the correct ticket for your needs. Navigo Easy is the most convenient and flexible too. You can load the amount on the card as you need. A single ride is 2.1 euros currently, but if you buy 10 rides at a time, they are discounted. I find that to be the best deal. As my trip comes to an end, I will just load one or two single rides as I need. Just want to add this bit of information. If you don't have a ticket and you got on the bus, you can buy it on the bus, but it's a premium. Uh, so it's better to have a ticket or a Navigo pass before you get on. 
Never go easy passes are sold at metro stations at the window, and they could help you purchasing it and also load it. The Never go easy pass itself is two euros. Once you have your Never go easy card, the kiosk is easy to use for reloading, and have clear instructions in different languages. Here's the summary for Navigo Easy Passes: two euros for the base pass itself. You could get discounted rates when you purchase it through Navigo Easy. It's flexible to use and it's reloadable. The card itself is good for future visits to Paris. It's good for buses and metro, and there is a SNCF app that you can check how much is left on your Navigo Easy card. Many stops are served by more than one bus line. Wave to the bus because some drivers will just drive on if no one is getting off. So give it a wave to signal to the driver you want to get on. Get on the front of the bus. There is a validator that scans your pass, or a single ride ticket machine that takes your ticket, stamps it, and returns it back to you. Hold on to your validated ticket. This rarely happens, but it can happen. In the middle of a ride, the bus driver is going off shift. The bus will stop at a stop and let everyone off. You then wait for the next bus to pick everyone up to continue the ride. No need to pay again. The new driver knows there was a shift change, and we already paid. Just continued on your ride. When you get on the bus, always, always greet the bus driver with a bonjour. Locals do it. It's a sign of respect and appreciation. They work hard driving these big buses in narrow, crowded Paris streets. The bus driver will usually greet you back. Here's a tip that is not in any tour book. If you wait for a bus for a long time and nothing shows up, there are several possibilities. One can be the buses are stuck in traffic. In that case, once they free up, you will see several buses come at the same time. Number two, it can be that the bus does not run on that day. One time, I waited for a long time for a bus. Only to realize later that it was a Sunday, and that particular bus does not run on Sundays. So make sure by checking. Use bus apps. Google Map has good information as well as other Paris apps. I use my guide combined with Google Map. Apps will also show you where you can transfer or connect onto another bus or to a metro station. Since I don't have internet when I travel in Paris, I rely on Wi-Fi from the place where I stay, and I usually would plan my trip ahead of time and screenshot them. There are senior seatings reserved、uh, for them in the front. They are marked. Also, riders often bring shopping carriages on market days, or baby carriages and even bikes onto the bus. There are usually open space to accommodate these riders. You get off the bus at the back. If the bus is crowded and you are stuck in the front, you can get off in the front. If the back door doesn't open, just say "La porte s'il vous plaît." It's the door, please. 
Say it loud enough so the bus driver can hear you and he will open it for you. If you miss a stop, just wait to get off on the next stop. Paris bus drivers do not make impromptu stops. If you are using individual tickets, make sure you keep it after you run it through the machine, just in case the bus fare monitors come on the bus to check. Yes, they do exist. Even though out of the many times I rode the bus, I only encountered it once, but they do check and have a very steep fine if you don't have your ticket. If you have a Navigo pass, just waive that the fee paid for one way allows a transfer from one bus to another bus within one and a half hour between the first and last validation. That is another reason to hold on to your validated ticket. There is no transfer between the metro and the bus. If your directions tells you to take the metro and then walk to a bus stop, you have to pay for the metro and the bus as two separate rides. On the front of the bus is labeled with its destination stop, so it tells you the direction it is going, inbound or outbound. For example, bus 96, which I take often, will have either Gare Montparnasse or Porte de Lila. Next stop request buttons are all over the bus. Click on it to ensure that the bus will stop. It will register that the bus will stop if someone clicks on it and it is not necessary to push it again. Here's the tricky part, but if I can figure it out, so can you. The bus route and stops are not totally the same going outbound or inbound. Due to city planning, some stops are at the same location, but just across the street. But some stops are actually on a different street nearby. Don't let that trouble you. They are clearly marked on the signs and in any guides. For example here, going outbound, the bus stops at Republic Magenta, but when inbound, it will stop at Republic Temple and not on Republic Magenta. Pay attention to stops with the black arrow and the direction it points. Stops with no markings mean they stop both inbound and outbound. Bus stops are usually named after the intersection of the two streets. Once you learn to read the sign, it is easy to remember and not get confused or lost. Before my first bus ride, I recall doing research online. Hopefully, this video will help someone who wants to take the local buses in Paris if you have any experience you would like to share, please leave a comment. And if you have any question, I will do my best to answer it. Richard Benoit.